My primary plan with massive hemorrhage to an extremity is to use a commercially available off-the-shelf tourniquet. If I don't have one, I'm going to try to generate improvised tourniqueting material, cravats, triangular bandages, items of clothing or fabric, whatever I can use. This is kind of my third option. It's a little backwoods witch doctor-ish, but if we think about our concept for an improvised tourniquet, we want the fabric to be two to four inches wide. So we're going to tie a square knot, and then since we want to do this with the most minimal equipment possible, we're going to just insert a metal pen. Now, based on the change in his respiratory pattern, I'm guessing that's pretty tight. He's got a good throb going, and if he does, it should be tight enough can be super fancy and instead of using a second cravat I can cut a little window in the fabric and pin that in place. In the children I have tested this on which is only a handful it's worked very well and I'll show you a video of this being applied to my daughter. In adults it seems to work as long as your inseam thigh circumference is got an appropriate ratio. If you got short legs and big ass thighs there may not be enough fabric to do that with. It also works very well on sleeves. So now I have an option. If the individual is wearing long sleeves or long pants, there is a potential way that I can turn their clothing into an improvised tourniquet.